Hey there friends, how's it going? The Sims 2 is one of my favorite games of all time, but it is quite difficult. I've decided to make it even worse by doing this. Introducing the Fertile Family. This is our main character, Ian. It's like Ian, but more exotic. And then we got Lisa, we got Joe, John, Rich, Meg, and Itchy. I ran out of names. His immediate first want is have another baby, despite his wife just leaving in the taxi moments ago. An adventurer. Yeah, that seems like a responsible job for a single father of six. I gotta get the limited furniture I can afford. Two bathrooms? Look at this guy in his McMansion. We don't need two bathrooms. Science recommends one bathroom per six children. I was gonna say, can they use normal beds? But then maybe a tent would work. Like, do I have to keep my children inside? Is that law? The children have to be indoor animals? I'll get two tents and hope for the best. Wait, 650? I'll get one tent and hope for the best. I can't afford a good bed, so I'll just get this bed for myself, I guess. <laughs> gonna try and make sure he doesn't have any more babies. I got a bookcase, and what do kids enjoy? Like, as a game, darts? Yeah, that should be good. <laughs> Oh, great. They can't use the stairs. Fantastic. Mwah. Why are you kissing this old man? Who is this man? Hey, you like kids? <laughs> you want to take care of my kids for a while? Some visitors have arrived. Thank you. Can you lift some kids in? <laughs> Just grab any of them and bring them inside. Oh my god, this is all going uh, horribly because all of their moods are going down in sync and now they all need to poop. Correction, they have all pooped. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, I've upset the neighborhood. Okay. Okay, fine. You know what? You can be outside babies. I'm not changing all of you. <laughs> hey, this isn't something I can afford all the time, but what if I got a nanny just like as a once-off, just so that an old lady could come by and take them all inside? My guy wants to get a puppy and have another child, despite this being his situation. He's like, yeah, more of this, please. Be admired. Why, you weirdo? Go away. <laughs> yes, she's here. <laughs> Did she just salute the babies? Good. They'll respect that. Listen to joke. This guy is more high maintenance than any of the children. Can you go away? Oh. <laughs> She's caring for all the babies while he's just playing darts for hours. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm very busy. I'm so glad you were available on short notice. What do I need for my job? I need a body skill. I think the smart thing to get for this would be a TV. So then you can use that for body or for fun. Give me the smallest one you got. Color is optional. <laughs> yeah, this will do. <laughs> Top of the line even has the yellow, white, and red inputs on the front so you don't have to be plugging in the back. What will they think of now? Next. I think the babies are trying to leave. Um, she's not helping bring any of them inside. One of them has collapsed. Put Joe here. Yes, I've got another one, everyone. The only one I've brought up here is crying because they can't get down. It's also blocking the door. Get out of the way. Ah. What do you mean you won't work out because of the wall? <laughs> what does that mean? All right, this can be your workout room then. How about that? Hey, you got any of those bottles for me? <laughs> I'm very hungry. Hey, I found some new places to hang out at downtown. Do you want to meet me there? I have no idea who this is. <laughs> like he could have been anyone. He could have been a kidnapper. Oh, damn it. He could have been a kidnapper. I should have said yes. The nanny just peed on one of the kids. Should I fire her? I think that nanny has just given up and has decided to live here now. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> They're all sleeping peacefully. <laughs> oh, which one is this? I assume once I feed them, like, does the rest even really matter? Like, who cares if they're having fun? They have each other to socialize with. The world is their toilet, so that doesn't matter. And they can sleep by themselves. Doesn't matter if they stink. Yeah, I, I just gotta feed them and we should be fine. At least in their current state. <laughs> we'll see when they grow up. The door is wide open. In case anyone wants to come in and take any of them. I guess I have to. I have no cat flap and some of the babies like being outside and some like being inside. That's right, crunch. Feel that pain. One. Two, three, go away, stinky child. <laughs> I have no time for you right now. No pain, no gain. Oh, will you shut up? Can you go out and play in traffic like your brother? <laughs> like a good kid? If I keep pushing the floor down, then eventually it'll be low enough that we won't need steps and they can just walk in. No, don't stop now. You almost have it, man. Go away. They're just trying to distract you. <gasps> I think I might have to hire that nanny again. <laughs> Where's my phone? Oh, it's behind the door that's stuck open. Nice, he got it. All right, we can get a promotion. That might save us. We need some money to support these kids. What are you showing me now? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Watch the kid. Watch the kid. Okay, yeah, thanks. All right, work time. Yeah, thanks for moving the bottle out of the way. That's perfect. <laughs> Any second now, Meg? Whenever, whenever you're ready, you can move out of the way. Or not. I hate having children. Come on, wake up. <laughs> oh, the carbon monoxide from this clunker is just making it worse. All right, we just despawned and went to work. Now we just gotta hope I get a promotion. It's very possible. Learn to walk. And that want is never coming true. Learn to talk. No, then I'll have even less peace. <laughs> what the hell are they doing? <laughs> They're just spreading the water across the road. I, I, <laughs> all right, okay. Boys will be boys. 
Come on, promotion, please. All right, whatever, fine, I'll get one tomorrow. Why did my job performance not really go up? If you need me, I'll be in my tent. Nobody speak to me, not that you can. <laughs> Just climbs into his tent with that big goblin energy. Oh no, they saw me go in. <laughs> They're gonna light it up in flames. <laughs> you know what would really help? A rich spouse. Are you wealthy by any chance? Huh? Oh, he is getting out of there fast. Okay, maybe I might have to meet someone like away from my house. <laughs> wow, even the nanny stinks now. Yeah, that's disgusting. <laughs> She's putting up her hands like, no, don't look at me. Stop it. Two days left. That's where I'll meet a rich spouse. Okay, I'll focus on the promotion and I'll host a birthday party tomorrow for all of them. <laughs> the indoor babies are kind of outdoor babies when you think about it because the door's always open. <laughs> They're always just facing the elements. It's raining now. <laughs> You've been wanting a shower, all right? <laughs> now you're complaining about the rain. I think there's a chance that my kids will be raised by dogs. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. All right, tree's on fire. Make sure to stay away from that thing. <laughs> they say lightning never hits the same spot twice, Rich, so I'm gonna put you here next to the tree that just got hit. <laughs> Where's the nanny gone? You come back here right now. <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna get loads of aspiration points because they're all gonna grow up, but they have to grow up well, so, um, yeah, I'm not gonna get that. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Thanks for ditching us. Now John has a gambling problem <laughs> and it's all your fault. You try and you try to be the best parent you possibly can be and a nanny just ruins it all in one go. I have a day off on Thursday. That's when I'll have the birthday party. The carpool arrives at 8. I don't need any skills. Let me just get in a really good mood by playing darts for three hours by myself at 3 a.m. Yeah, this is great. Now I'm happy. <laughs> is that one of my kids? Oh, no, it's, the, it's dogs. All I can hear is growling and barking. The newspaper won't be delivered since you already have too many. How can you tell? <laughs> There's so much trash here everywhere. Old youngster. He's trying to get her off the road. <laughs> That's Meg's favorite spot. It's your favorite patch of tarmac. Yes, a promotion. The family is safe for another afternoon. <laughs> this is what we call safe, by the way. You are fearless as you explore the deepest caves throughout the world. <laughs> Even that is not as scary as his home life. So yeah, he's the perfect candidate. Throw party. No, can't do it till tomorrow. It's all right. The kids are resting anyway. Just realize not only is the house unsafe, but look across the road. There's just this steep roll down into a river. <laughs> Those kids are screwed. Oh, sorry about my voice, by the way. I'm a bit sick. And not like in the way that I'd have six children and banish them to the outdoors. Like that that also, but I, I have a flu. That was a cash injection that I desperately needed to pay for that nanny. Um, I'm nearly a thousand dollars now. I'm thinking maybe I should try and get the points for at least another promotion to get another bit of money. <laughs> Wait, it'll grow up in just one day. Maybe I can host a party now. Yes, I can. <laughs> Anything to cut costs and shorten their lifespan. <laughs> should I invite the mom? Nah. Uh, oh, wait, I don't know anyone. Hold on. I'm just going to pop out to the park and find some random people. Actually, you. Hello. Would you like to come to my children's birthday party? I'm not really good at anything yet. Oh, we're so alike. All right. Make sure you're near your phone in the next 40 seconds for an invite to a party. Oh, my God. Get out of the way. I'm trying to do this party for you. Well, no, it's for me, actually, so that I don't have to deal with you, but you get the point. Oh, such a cool name as well. It could be LaShawn Fertile. Sounds better than Stan Fertile. <laughs> Leo, the old dude I knew from earlier, can come. Uh, she can come. There's another old guy I know from work. He can also come. I didn't even invite the nanny who practically raised them all. Missing some of your party guests? But I only invited three. It's party time, it said, but I, I don't think anyone actually came. This is so sad. Why does no one love my babies, including me? I don't understand. I, I don't think the party's happening. <laughs> oh, wait, maybe? Uh, no, it's just itchy. <laughs> I don't know why it's zooming in on them. <gasps> Here we go. The party's starting. Where where are the people? Who showed up? Oh, no, it is, it is actually no one. The game just gave up and just started the timer. Okay. Okay, everyone. Be good little boy and girl and line up for a state-mandated birthday party. <laughs> it's just like trash everywhere. There's no furniture. Just this little table with a birthday cake. By law, you must be clean for birthday. It's rated a disaster somehow. <laughs> just grab any of them. Grab Joe. He's an indoor baby. There we go. Okay, now grow up. Come on. <laughs> it's just confused. Here we go. All right, now you can provide for yourself. It's about time you became man of the house. No, no, only I may have cake. Stop it. Joe achieved the aspiration level of hectic handful. That's pretty lame. All right, 
right? That's a bit mean to Joe, but whatever. We're gonna speed this up. I'm gonna get two tables. Lisa has a great party. Meg has a great... None of these are gonna happen. Okay, don't even wait for this one to grow up. Come on, we gotta speed run some more kids here. That one fell asleep right in front of its cake. Stupid babies going to sleep just because it's 2 a.m.? Okay, whatever. Some of you don't get birthdays then. Oh, no! Joe managed to find his way into my bed. There's a perfectly good tent outside, young man. You should know, indoors are for adults. Choking tops! I think he just shouted at me to go choke. Next time, pay more attention to your guests. Well, I would, if I had some. Blech. There we go, into the tent. <laughs> Wait a second. If they're all having their birthday at the same time, then that means they're uh, born at the same time. Oh, the poor Stan. I see why she left. Oh my god, that freaked me out. I'm not used to other people walking around the house. It would be great if Joe was just neat <laughs> and he just cleaned up all the time. He's having zero fun, but he's used to that. He's just laughing at his brother whose head is lying on the tarmac. He's got that old fertile family humor anyway. Yeah, Joe's a monster. <laughs> at least they didn't stand out there pointing and laughing at you while you were struggling. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I kind of was. Um, it was just Ian Fertile who wasn't pointing and laughing. <laughs> all right, he's a little terror anyway. I assume they're all going to be little terrors. A school bus for Itchy and Joe will arrive in about an hour. Wait, I can still age up the others? Okay. You have been chosen to ascend, my child. Eventually. I think he's a bit frozen. Hold on. <laughs> okay, there he goes. Yeah, he's he's kicked back in. That happens sometimes. Oh! She just started crying. I don't think it's working. They're not going to school of their own accord. Joe, get out of my bed. Stop trying to clean yourself. School kids are very understanding. They won't mind. All right, Lisa's immune. Let's try it on Rich. Hey, Itchy, is Joe available to talk? I guess. I mean, no one has ever wanted to talk to him before in his life. It's probably just about a billing issue. Yeah, cheer him on. Come on, come on. Transform. Yes, Rich is able to do it. Lisa's obviously just broken. Oh, cool lad, Rich. Or is that just like a part of your scalp? Because... You know, you kind of just grew up and then it was there. <laughs> I didn't buy it for you. Where'd you get it? Since walls seem to be a problem for televisions, I'm just gonna leave the television in the garden. The carpool will arrive. I thought I had a day off today. The hell, I got a promotion and they shifted my day off so it would be the furthest days away. I hate capitalism. What are you doing socializing with your children, you weirdo? Go to work! Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Look at him dressed up and all to go spelunking. Walk to work, you dumbass. <laughs> Just the saluting. Like, I know it's because of the sun, but it just looks like saluting to me. The bus driver's smiling as she willfully ignores the blatant child negligence going on at this property. It just feels like a battle royale at this point, and this one is not winning. Poor John, he just wants to be potty trained. He's been in that onesie since he was born. <laughs> Ian here just walks in from work like, Sorry, kiddo, don't know how to use the potty myself, actually. But you'll get it, champ. I believe in you. Jesus. What is wrong, Rich? He's having a tantrum. I'll be the bin. Well, actually, don't answer that question. I'll just believe you that stuff is wrong. Uh, this is valid, I'm sure. Even the nanny is just terrified to get involved. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever seen a child do that in The Sims. Meg has grown into a child. Oh yeah, you didn't get birthday parties. Sorry, folks. Where's John? I'm still waiting for him to grow up. <laughs> it's like, please get me out of this thing. <laughs> Let me wear a hazmat suit, please. Burn this costume. <laughs> She's coming back. He's like, no, please stop. Just let me grow up. Stop tickling me. It's only making it worse. <laughs> he fell asleep. He's just never going to get to age up. John has definitely got the short straw. Poor old Rich is trying desperately to clean. <laughs> he hates the mess, but he just can't control it. Oh, their memories aren't so great, are they? Oh, God. All right. Okay, let's just wait. What's the dog one? Met Balin. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Joe wants to torment someone. I'll put that on lock. Uh, Rich is very neat and very serious. <laughs> Joe is also neat and not nice at all. So they'll make a great team, I'm sure. Now that I'm done with work, would you like to hang out? Yeah. You want to get married? <laughs> I think you earn a good living mostly because I'm giving it to you. Learn couples counseling. Yeah, why not? <laughs> He hasn't seen his wife in years. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, maybe we need counseling. Oh, she loves it. He's got that spelunking confidence right about now. Look at that outfit. Oh my god, she's a bit too into him, I think. What kind of parent lets a child go hungry? One with a bad nanny, that's who. Where's Rich? 
Oh, he's asleep standing up outside. I think the weeds raised them, actually. They're just photosynthesizing most of the time. What about this? No, um, he won't eat the cake. Hold on, I'll get him another birthday cake. It doesn't let you eat it unless it's someone's birthday. No, oh, I hate rules. <laughs> like if I, as a parent, want to feed my six kids nothing but birthday cake for their entire childhood, that should be allowed. Oh, another tantrum. I've only seen this happen once before. <laughs> Where's poor old John? He's still not aging up. Should we like poke him with a stick or something? Bathe John. Yeah, maybe that'll wake him up. <laughs> no one's paying enough attention to Rich. He's getting like all the attention. Joe, stop screaming at John. He's sensitive. You're the same age, God damn it. Have some respect for what he's going through. <laughs> stop laughing at him, man. He's lying in piss on the bathroom floor. Come on, help the guy age up. He smells bad. <laughs> That's all he's saying. Okay, the nanny is bathing him. I think this will make him dirtier somehow, but at least the ones he came off. John's gonna be a 45-year-old accountant and he's still gonna look like this. Come on, dude. No one's paying enough attention to Rich. That's because John is having a medical emergency over here. He can't grow up. Yes, it's working. Yes, nice hat, John. I feel like a better version of Rich. The first happy notification. I'm very excited that I tried this games activity. Good man, John. What? What's wrong with you? Oh, no, I think he's being attacked. Leave him alone. He's stunted a little bit. That's all. See that? He's paying it back with kindness. They're just having a little pillow fight. Ah, uh, that's nice to see now the kid's just getting along. I'm gonna light a fire for them. Keep them nice and warm for a change. All right, good luck with the open flame, gang. <laughs> I hope you figure out what it is and that it's dangerous. I can't believe how late it is. I should be getting home. Come back. <laughs> I definitely need a cash injection, I think. We're gonna have to try to make a friend in order to get a promotion. Why are you crying, Itchy? <laughs> is it because I've never, ever interacted with you once? I know it's irresponsible to have weapons around children, but welcome to the gun show, kids. It's 4 a.m. and he's blasting this throughout the halls where there's no doors. No, don't throw up in your mouth. Just work out more. Join. He's going to sleep out in the tent with someone. I hope that's one of the kids and not just like a random per Oh, it's rich. Oh my god, they're all about to get out of my hair. Even John, who's now old enough to go on the bus. Day five. The kids have gained control of the house. I now live in a tent outside. I imagine the bus driver just seeing all this. The kid's just unsupervised, <laughs> playing darts, the mess all over the place. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to manually tell them all to go to school because they don't want to. <laughs> Probably don't understand what it is. People can learn things? <laughs> all saluting as they go out the door. <laughs> okay, they're all going. I can finally emerge from my tent. <laughs> okay, you can go home now. I'm not paying you right now. Hundred dollars for doing nothing. What a scam. Oh, bills. I forgot about bills. <laughs> eh, those pancakes still look fine, right? They're good enough for my kids. They're good enough for me. Okay, let's somehow get this man some charisma. <laughs> I need that promotion so bad. Headley. No, no. Oh, wait, no, it's work. Okay, I thought the kids were back. All right, I got the skills. All I need now is a friend. And that will be in the form of a wealthy spouse. Good day to you, sir. Rich's grades are improving somehow. I guess there's probably nowhere to go but up. They're all inspecting the report cards as they come out. It's taking an hour just to offload my family. Bus driver's going nuts. Come on, kids. There's still more people. But you're not even mine, are you? No, you're not mine. No vacancies. Go away. <laughs> I have enough. It's not a good idea to let you... That was the line. I left them home alone because I went to work. That was the line where the law stood in. The government went, you've gone too far. There's not enough room in the car, so they're just sending them to the void, I think. Enjoy that last fresh breath of air, Meg. You're going to the void. In this timeline, we don't go to work today. <laughs> call work. Calling from the open door where they can see me. <laughs> I'm very sick. <laughs> the laughing and everything. Do you need the day off? Yes, I do. Hello, are you rich? <laughs> I'm blocking the other person <laughs> getting to work. <laughs> they just despawned. Oh, here are the kids. Oh, and imagine if I weren't here, but that would never happen. I'm far too responsible for that. I think I need someone elderly so that they'll have a lot of money and a lot of free time. They love the fact that they have six young ones to take care of now. What about that guy from earlier. You remember the weird dude who wouldn't leave me alone? Yeah, Leo. I bet Leo would be down to get married. He's probably
probably not got much going on. What about the other old dude? I suppose coming over couldn't hurt. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. No one's paying enough attention to Rich. Why is it all about feckin' Rich? Where's Joe? Joe's gonna sort him out. Joe's trying to <laughs> flirt over here. Where's Rich? Torment that child. <laughs> Get rid of his main character syndrome. You stay away from him, all right? <laughs> He's mine. Checks him out. Is there any chemistry there? Who's playing that music, man? Where is it coming from? Oh, it's the TV. It's, it's her. She's watching television. It does kind of mask the horrible vibe of this house. Is John available? Oh, must have seen me talking to Kenneth over here. All right, maybe I'll give you a second chance. He doesn't really like Kenneth. All right, let's go talk. Hey, get off the phone. Hey, get out of my bed. Ask Joe to join. Yeah, go. Come watch TV, Joe. The whole family's here. He's having nightmares about Kenneth. But it worked. Okay, now I sleep. Yes. <laughs> I just got him the secondary <laughs> aspiration of romance. <laughs> so hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier to attract these old men. <laughs> He's just playing darts with my kids. He'll fit right in. Oh, he doesn't want to hug me. What do you mean, dude? Do you like what you see? No. You don't like my beard? Then what the hell are you doing here, Kenneth? Get out of here. Why are you giving out about Rich? <laughs> Why is everyone talking about Rich all of the time? This door is driving me crazy. You know what? We're going to get rid of it. What do you mean, can't select object in use? <laughs> because it's open, but I can't do anything about that. <laughs> all right, well, maybe I could at least move the phone. <laughs> Ask out on date. All right, there's got to be something there. Leo, come on, dude. No, I don't think so. <laughs> He's crying off screen. <laughs> and it's like proper ugly crying too. Jesus, I didn't know he meant that much to him. Right, let's try the only other person we know. No, I don't think so. <laughs> he doesn't seem to care about this one. He's just laughing that Rich has fallen asleep standing up again. Well, I tried to greet her. She looked up at me, and then she just walked off the lot. She knew what she did. Oh, no, the kids are fighting in the back garden. <laughs> one of them's just knocked out already. Poor John. Just realized the back is a death trap as well. Look at that fall. <laughs> and they're fighting right next to it. This guy must have steep life insurance on all of these kids or something. Oh man, I'm barely holding it together. <laughs> Some of her stuff got taken by the repo man earlier too. I don't even know what got taken. <sighs> Yes, there's one thing left to do. How nice of you to invite me over. I'll just gussy up and come right over. That's right, I got a sadness that only you can cure. With the miracle of childbirth. Should we have another kid? Hold on, let me just upgrade the bed now. It's it's gonna have to be a double. Oh, damn it, it's in use. All right, you know what? Maybe we can just buy it and then return it after. 450 it was bought for. Okay. Please go away, everyone. <laughs> Why did the whole family come in? I, um, I don't think they know how. I it's, it's not allowing me to do anything. What kind of parent lets a child go hungry, feed that child and fast? Which one? Uh, oh, Lisa. Um, I'm sure she's got it under control. I don't want that child. I want a new one. Come on. Oh my god. I think she's walking out on them again. <laughs> yeah, she's having one little cry before she goes. Wait, she's coming back inside. Wait, maybe she's coming back to the family. No, never mind. She just forgot something. Oh, I think she's just stuck. They've set up a barricade so that mommy can't walk out on them again. No, she's too good at it. All right, bye. Her character arc is a bloody circle. <laughs> Are we sure they're sleeping? Like, has anyone checked? Well, kids, <clears throat> I guess it's just us then. Uh... If you need me, I'll be in the tent. You can have the house. I love a happy ending, so we will end it there. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.